ever, whatever. Yeah, mo like most that. unexpected moments. Most unexpected moments. Yeah. Snooze These two offstage. are getting right into it. Wow. Oh, wait, we're actually just starting right yeah. off the bat. Okay, for I'm those sorry. of you who don't know, this matchup is really bad for Duck Hunt. Like, really bad. Yeah, <laughs> they, they both, John saying they both hate they each both other. They both hate each other. <laughs> The 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 the, the in venue like beef between these two is always so funny. There has like, been some like antagonism between the two of them. No, absolutely. We're like, um, they love each other, but they hate each other. They you know? love each other, but Carflow complains about like these matchups, and then Fawn's like, "How do you lose with these characters against Duck Hunt?" Which is true. And then she'll, she'll be like, you're a thrower! You're throwing! True. Wow. Clay pitching up air not quite killing. Mm, but the can not quite killing either, but Fauna in really good position to accept that gunman, get that can on, 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 the, on Carfro as well. Look at this. Look where Carfro had to be for a second. Had to just stick to that ledge for so long. Uh huh. The reverse can from Fawn, but I mean, this Chrom Sword is. I mean, it is so hard for Duck to deal with because you can space, but the can is definitely going to be the one big issue for Carflow in this matchup. I saw, okay, I see the air dodge now. I see it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. That was really crazy. I, I can't lie. The difference between Roy and Krom in this matchup is that Roy, your pressure on shield isn't as safe. Yeah. Because the sour spots and the sour spots like won't break things as consistently with Krom. You get to just hit Duck Hunt and you get to hit through everything. But the downside is that with Krom, you have to be more precise in general. And we're starting to see that Duck Hunt, you know, having so many like weird frame one options, even though the matchup is bad for them, I mean, Fawn's the type of player. They're Fawn gonna... is trapped right now. Yeah. This whole time, hasn't been able to come, come at the stage. Doing the high recoveries didn't work. The low recovery almost worked, but got grabbed for uh, standing for a little bit too long. There's that frame with Clay Pigeon and another one to connect, but instead we're going to be pressing with the up air instead on platform. And falling out of the up air, we're going to be continuing that onslaught onto a character like Krom, who can't really do much about that. Yeah, great frame trapping there from Fawn. Great advantage state you wouldn't normally expect from a character like Duck Hunt. But this ledge pressure from Carflow is really what's so scary about Krom, right? I mean, his ledge trapping is top tier among the cast. But Fawn here, I mean, has Carflow at some pretty scary percents. Duck Hunt can sometimes struggle to kill, but at these percents, um, one big hit is all it'll take. And this can might kill, but Carflow is a huge back air, and you see how much space it covers. And Duck Hunt can't, like, challenge that at all. No, they can't. All you can really do is throw out Clay Pigeon, throw out Can, set up the gunmen to be your your disjoint for that moment. Yep. And then when they shoot once or twice, it's kind of, it, they, they're, they gotta go. Yes. They gotta head out. Yeah, down throw Nair here from Carflow. Hits the can away, good stuff. Grabs a neutral get up. I love this measured approach from Carflow, just waiting and playing reactively, but still like applying pressure. It's really, this is the way like you get to play against Duck Hunt when you have like this type of pressure, but the Clay Pigeon frame one, interrupting another one. The fun, not getting any follow-ups and you can see her talking there herself. Oh, I, I'm not even looking at her directly. Oh. I, I can believe it, though. No, no, she she said something. I couldn't tell, but maybe a little displeased with the state of affairs. Probably. Oh, I love that Clayfish to kind of interrupt that uh, that hurt that hitbox that Carfo was throwing out right there. Down tilting the gunman. They stay there the longer you hit them. I promise they will not go in unless you stop hitting them. And now these cans are doing wonders for Fawn. I mean, we were talking about the fact that we can't contest those, those disjoints from uh, from Chrom. But why why worry about them? We can just you know push them away. Oh. Fawn actually to turn around cans to punish Carflow's ledge option there, which was so crazy. Oh my god, the F tilt, no tipper though, so not quite gonna kill. Let's see what she's got in store. This is so scary for both players, because Krom with all this rage will explode your stock. And there's a back air. <gasps> but the can! It saves her. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I've seen her do that a couple of times this set where the can will save her in these yeah. death in the death exchanges. And where Carful can't really contest it. Yeah, and there's like some weird stuff that happens with the can and knockback sacking. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because the can's knockback can also like sometimes almost cancel out the knockback of other moves too. There's like this weird stuff in Smash Ultimate. Yeah. And Fawn, I mean, man, what the dog doing? Minus two matchup who? Not for Fawn. Not for her, Drew. Uh, not for them, absolutely not. Yeah. And we got Town and City. Oh, I love this song. This song actually made it into like my study playlist, House Preview. Oh, no. Dude, it's such a bop. Just listen to it. Wrong. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do.
We're vibing out here. And then the shaker comes in. Okay. Well, you'll, you'll hear we'll, it. We'll hear it. We'll hear it. Yeah. I wish it chose the one song that just is completely silent in the middle of it. It like, has like lyrics and stuff, and then it's just like 10 seconds of silence because they didn't know how to do a transition. Yup. We're going to be on Town Thanks, and City second. here, which is, I mean, people talk about Roy on Town, but I mean, Chrom is definitely really good here too. But the bigger stage and the higher ceiling means that, I mean, Fawn will live a little longer. Get more space to do some setup. I think I think Falk can do really whatever she wants, but with these platform extensions that Carful is definitely abusing. Oh my um, god! Yeah, super His, abusing. I wa I commentated a fusion months ago, and he, I watched Carful play against a Falcon. His like ledge drop back air placement is world class. It's absolutely incredible. Like his awareness. But oh my god! While I was hyping him up, he just got cooked on. Bro got bird pooped on. That's crazy. First yeah, play. but the, the, look at the replay. How's the 3000? Well, actually, because look, while we were talking about all dude. that, literally down there, you can't do anything with a sweet spot. And it was can into clay pigeon. Yeah. The two frame one options working together. What? What? The air dodge the failed. The air dodge failed. And I mean, just not grabbing the ledge is fun. But yeah. Throw into the That's can. That's so weird. Yeah, she's not the type of player to get too discouraged after things like that happen, though. Very um, resilient mentality, and also definitely probably feeling a bit uh, of extra fire because not wanting to lose the car flow. Yeah, we, we, we don't want to lose the car flow. No hard feelings the car flow. That's like my best. No, right there. it's just. It's just. I know with these two. Yeah, with these two. That we'll was never like three cans in a row, dude. That's Carflow's biggest downfall right here. Is, is these cans? These what? cans are are doing like. That's three replays we have for this set because a lot of things are happening. Dude. Carflow's can, like, like looking at can and, like, not hitting, like, me and my job is to not hit can, I'm Carflow. <laughs> <laughs> me, me when I'm in a get hit by can challenge and my opponent <laughs> is Carflow. Car <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this can or can? It's a good can, sir. It's I was, can. <laughs> I was talking to somebody once and they were like, me when I'm in a focusing competition and my opponent is Ryu. <laughs> Carful is full of these cans, but even though we're all saying that, of course, Fawn is the one in the deficit oh at God. 130%, living to absurd percentages, and Carflow as Chrom can do what? Even, yeah, I agree. <laughs> can blew up and no tech on your own stage spike, but. Sometimes, it sometimes you got. You know what? You know what? You know what? You want the reason this happened? I'm not gonna not tech your move. I'm gonna not tech my, my own move. move. Yeah. I'm not gonna get the satisfaction. The only <laughs> one who could defeat me is me. It's me. <laughs> Kuroko no basket Oh line. my god, me when I got to defeat myself, my opponent is fine. <laughs> oh man, that was good. But well, regardless, our bands are going to be FD and Kalos, as it always is. Yeah, and I mean, it's very important that Fawn has the counter pick in game three, because as you saw, um, Town not only obviously gets like smaller side blast zones and stuff, it also gives Krom that extra recovery mix up to the top platform, exactly. which let Carflow live a few extra times where normally Krom dies on like a stage like Small Battlefield, for example. And you so. saw the cover with extensions that Carflow was able to really up it should have was abusing. Yes, no, and absolutely. That, that, that allowed for so many different ways to take away Fawn's high recovery, low recovery, mid range recovery. It was everything that you know he was doing so well against her. Yes. The Fawn here, the gunman offstage. Are you dead? No. no Good hold in. I don't know. Yeah. Wow, the can accidentally. I think in this instance, the back air damage stacked with the can, causing him to die. What an interesting character. And Carflow here, already 33%. He does not want to lose. But a great edge guard, and this Gimp will have him it, dead. Yeah. Absolutely. No jump available, and your up beat can only yeah. do so much. Duck Hunt, Duck Hunt Nair is active. I don't remember the exact number, but it's a stupid amount of frames. Like, I say 20 for fun. I know it's more than 10, I'm pretty sure, which is like already absurd by itself. No, just get up attack it. Just get up attack it. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay you just know get what? up attack it. Come on, guys. It's 2023. It's 2023. You're not get up attacking charge smash attacks. Like, <laughs> That's so funny. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I mean, Carflow at zero, Fawn at 90, but this, this percent can stack up really quick with some can. So I'm happy to say that uh, Duck Hunt's strong nair is only active for three frames. 
But isn't the weak hit active for like another 10? No, it's active for 30. Oh, it's 30? 30. My bad, sorry. I was kidding when I said I'd say 20. I didn't think I was close. No, no, no. You were closer than me, my fault. To be exact, it is 28 frames. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's, wow, yeah. That is, yeah, that move is... not much better than 30. <laughs> no, it's not much better than 30 whatsoever. It's two, two less frames. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Sephiroth Nair is only active for two frames. Anyways, uh, uh, Fawnier has done a really good job. I jinxed it. I'm a caster. I cursed it. So now I gotta be quiet for the next like, 10 seconds. That's, that's, that's your atonement. <laughs> that's what you guys start doing. If you continue to do a, a, a caster's like, curse, you gotta be quiet for 10 seconds. Okay, that was my 10 seconds that's up. Good job! <laughs> No, but Car Flow is at, is doing really well. Like the game one to game three right now for Car Flow is a completely different character, different person, character, different person, different playstyle. Yeah. We're just completely bypassing all the cans we were getting juggled with earlier. We're bypassing the play pitch and we're bypassing the even the gunman as well. Everything that Vaughn's trying to really go for, what she's known for, is yes. not working anymore. Yeah, and this is proof that I mean he's adapting. He's figuring out what he needs to be doing better. He's using his character's tools better too. And look. He's aware that the can is all the way over on the other side. He doesn't have to worry about it now. Yeah, but, but now we let Fawn come back with it. Now a good Ooh. Ooh. Clay Pigeon into Can this time. Boom! First was it was Can into Clay Pigeon, now it's Clay Pigeon into Can. Now I was gonna say, you know, Fawn was able to actually mix up her recovery really well, trying to get the high one, but then like, you know, it air dodging towards the ledge um on add diagonal to mix up a little bit, and that's what happened with the can that got uh, the kill for her, but <gasps> Can you say that's so oh, much that's damage. So good. It's another up air. No, we're about to we're, we're about to neutral, but we're gonna get another can into the four uh the fourth throw to the can. Try and get a re a read on a roll in for the forest mash. That would probably be, that probably would have been almost enough. Oh yeah. Let's see. Okay, this is a grab here from Carflow. He holds the stage positioning. Font, if she can get out of this corner situation, a comeback might be possible, but it's so hard to get out of the corner. That's messed up. I think that was an F tilt. Um, it was so like fast. That. Yeah, I think it was an F tilt. It's the only crom move there that would have killed that was that fast. Oh, I think anyone that killed at 137. Not jab. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, it was the F tilt. Yeah, it was F tilt. Yeah. Okay, well, good adaptation from Car Flow in what was. I mean, <laughs> it started from started from uh, it's so over, and then by the end of the set, it was Car Flow was looking pretty back. We're so back. We're so back. <laughs> yeah, honestly. It amazes me that Fawn can play these bad matchups so close, too. Testament to her skill as a player. Oh, Fawn's a very talented player. This is because we are we did come in like, you know, in fourth place at a really like really good Xeno, I think. It yes. had like what, I think almost forty purchases. It was forty plus actually. 40 plus? It was like forty three, forty two. Nice. And one of those was me. Ugh. And not me, I'm just a commentator. I'm just a commentator. No, Dude, people pop off when they beat me and I'm literally a commentator. You're like, what? Why are you popping off on me? Dude. <laughs> It's not I, if someone pops off me, I would just be like... I literally, like... <laughs> I don't know, man. People need their JDC wins. I think we all need JDC wins. I think everyone should come to Zeno just to farm JDC. Hey! JDC. I'm not that easy! What the hell? You know what I did once in a comp game? What? I, in, in Overwatch? Yes. I, I went to team chat, and I typed out my tank said he can 1v5 you. And then he left. <laughs> and the game got shut down. Oh, no. 